Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. How y'all doing this evening? How y'all doing on this big Monday? Happy Monday to y'all. My name is Mike D, a.k.a. DDE80, a.k.a. 31 of the World, a.k.a. Mike DZ. Thank you for joining me here on A Point of View. Whether you're listening to me on your phone, your tablet, your television, whatever you got going on, wherever you listen to me over the airwaves, thank you again for coming in. I'm not too happy today. I'm kind of down in the dumps today, but that's all right, man. I'm still here to give you all a point of view, a uh, recap on some stuff. Um, I know that Monday Night Raw comes on in about a in about 50 minutes. And uh, I just want to have a conversation with you guys for a minute. Um, yesterday's football, NFL, it's still painful, folks, to hear what happened to the Patriots. The Patriots lost again. This has been a painful season for me in football when it comes down to the Spartans and the Patriots. Those are my teams in the, in the, the football reign of both college and professional. And we're not winning. We're not having a successful season. And we're getting beat at all weeks. Every week at all punches, we're getting beat up on. And I don't really like that at all. You know, um, shout out to the Point Place family, if I didn't say that. Bobby Reezy, M. Breezy, Naya Naya, my sister, love all you. Thank you again for joining me on The Point of View. Uh... Yeah, football was interesting yesterday. The Saints lost. Oh, my God. It looks like Derek Carr's going to be out. If Derek Carr's going to be out for a couple of games, that might be that might be the the straw that breaks the camel's back right now. I need the Saints to try to figure out a way to get through their hard times right now. Even Michael Thomas is going through a hard time. Clamaro was a part of the hard time as well early up in the season. So, the Saints will be able to pull themselves back. Hopefully, the Saints will be able to get back to what they need, and that's playoff contention. I think they'll be there. I'm not going to ride on the Saints too hard today because my team ain't doing dilly squat, folks. Not at all. The Patriots, man, like I said, the Patriots are like the Chicago Bears right now. Got a record with the Giants and the Bears. We're in the bottom. And uh, like yesterday, again, Mac Jones in the fourth quarter throws interceptions when the game is on the line. Every time, man, he throws an interception in the middle of the fourth quarter. It was like four minutes left in the quarter, in the fourth quarter, and we we're, we're trying to win. Interception. The coach beat us. Next week, I think we play the Giants. Oh, uh, we going to buy or something. We need to go on a buy or whatever. What I, I don't it, – it's painful right now what's going on with the Patriots. It's painful what's going on with the Spartans. Michigan, even though they're sign stealing, they still are winning. Man, it's tough. It is tough, man, to see this, you know. Lamar Jackson lost. The Texans beat the Bengals. I'm telling you guys. C.J. Stroud has proven to everybody he is the rookie of the year this year in the NFL. He will be the NFL rookie of the year. If they have that, I think they do. He is proving to everybody that he deserves to be in the NFL. Seahawks win. Cowboys win like that. Like nobody didn't know they were going to beat the Giants. Really? The Giants ain't got nobody right now. Come on, man. Everybody knew that the Eagles were going to, I mean, the Cowboys were going to beat the Giants. whoop de do. Dak Prescott and them, they can do that against other teams, but why they can't do that against teams like the 49ers or the Eagles? That's the problem right there. That's who you need to worry about beating. I'm not going to get on the Cowboys today, but they won, so whoop de do for them. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, um, the Pittsburgh Steelers are still winning. Shout out to Kenny and, and Tomlin. Tomlin got those boys possibly going to the playoffs. The Cleveland Browns won a game yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. I think they beat they beat Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens. 
Uh, last night, the Raiders beat the Jets, even though it was a, a nail biter, but they beat them. And I will tell you guys this here tonight. The Buffalo Bills are going to beat the Denver Broncos. The Denver Broncos are going to put up a fight, I think. But in the end, I think the Broncos are, uh, are going to lose to Josh Allen and the Bills. That's just my my talk, my my you know point of view on that. And that's uh, what I'm saying about that. Also, ladies and gentlemen, the Lakers won last night without LeBron James. AD had a big game against a team like Portland. Don't fool yourself. Portland has been beating teams, folks. They have been beating teams. So it's not a shock if Portland wins. They have a nice little squad out there. Scoot, uh, Simon, Simmons, Simons, I think that's his name, uh, Grant, and, of course, DeAndre Ayton. They got a squad out there, man. You know, Clippers haven't won yet since James Harden be there. But trust me, he, they're going to start winning. I just need the Lakers to stay in the loop. The Warriors as well. The Warriors have been up and down as well. I'm thinking that they're going to get themselves together. I think they lost again last night, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, a lot of little stuff going on with them. And a lot of things are happening that a lot of people are. There's just a bunch of moving parts going on in the game of basketball. I will start going, coming on talking about college basketball uh, I'm trying to let it get full in a little bit before I just start talking about college basketball. The Spartans are my team, and I want them to do good. I'm sick of them getting to the tournament each year and getting put out in the first round. That's every year Michigan State Spartans go to the, uh, to the tournament. They always either lose in the first round of the series or they get to the top 16 and lose there. They need to try to get back to what McClee, what Magic Johnson, the great Magic Johnson, shout out to Magic, shout out to Mateen Cleese and them when they won the championship that year. That's the, that's the Michigan State that they need to go back to. And I'm just saying that. Uh, shout out to LSU, uh, Tigers, girls, guys, football team. They all won. Uh, they've been winning games. They've been doing okay. So shout out to them. Absolutely phenomenal what happens. Uh and that's what I like about that's what I like about what I'm seeing with LSU and them as well. Uh big, big moves happening. Uh college football teams are uh getting coaches are getting fired before the season even out. Wow, that's that's pretty tough, ain't it? Pretty tough to see, pretty tough to hear. And uh, that's that's part of the, you know, the hiring, the freezing, and the things like that. There, uh, I want to give a uh, a shout out to everybody that's listening. I just thank you all for listening again. I know I'm saying it too much, but I just want to show my gratitude. I'm not in the best of spirits today, folks. Um, kind of. Uh, emotionally down about something kind of personal. I'm not going to talk about it, but, uh, you know, I know that God is there. I'm just asking God to build me up to where everything will be, you know, peaches and cream back the way I want to smile again and, you know, be happy smiling and stuff like that. Kind of, kind of down right now, but, uh, I know God can pick me up. Uh, also, uh, Raw's coming on tonight. The 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 excuse me. Raw's coming on tonight. The um, preview from Raw is uh, simple. We know that Cody and Jay are going to try to go back for the tag team titles against the Judgment Day. We'll see what happens with that. Miz going up against Ivar for what Ivar did to him last week. Uh, I think it's going to be Tegan Knox against either Piper Niven or Chelsea, one of the two. Um, I think that's – oh, and Shinsuke Nakamura against Otis. That's another match tonight. Of course, we're going to see what happens with Seth Rollins and Drew McIntyre. Uh, Seth Rollins now uh, in the mix. Uh a part of war games, excuse me. 
Uh, we're going to see what Drew McIntyre has has up store for him because he's going to be on there tonight probably wanting to do his heel turn or whatever. He's probably going to go full, full, full-fledged full heel now as the moving parts go for the war games as well as uh, what's going to go on with Zoe Stark and Rhea Ripley now that they're going to be fighting for the um, – for the women's title, the Raw women's title, I call it, as well as uh, what's Gunther going to do with the Miz uh, as the Miz is going to try to fight Gunther for the Intercontinental title. There's a lot of moving pieces in the business of wrestling right now, and uh, I want everybody to know that just tune in and enjoy enjoy your your sports. Enjoy your wrestling. Enjoy your um. Enjoy your uh, football and enjoy your basketball, your NBA, as well as your uh, the Celtics and the Knicks play again tonight. So that's going to be interesting to see. Can the Celtics beat the Knicks again or Knicks? Can the Knicks, you know, pull one off on the Celtics? We'll see what happens with all that tonight as well. Uh, also, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, I had touched on it a couple of uh, days ago, but I will talk about it again. There's a there's a there is a conversation going out saying that Monday Night Raw, which will not be on USA next year in 2024, SmackDown will be on USA after leaving Fox. They're going to leave Fox and go to USA SmackDown. So where does that leave NXT and where does that leave Monday Night Raw? Well, there's there's rumors going out saying that Monday Night Raw will be on FX. Uh, I think that's the equivalent of Fox, if I'm not mistaken. And it's going to be interesting to see what happens on there because FX, if people don't have it, I'm quite sure it's on all the cable packages that you all watch. All right. Second thing, CW will have NXT 2.0. So NXT will be on CW next year. CW is the old version of U, U, uh, UPN, WB, all that. So what does that mean? Well, that means that it's going to be NXT is going to be just for teenagers to watch. And I'm quite sure they're going to dumb down half of the uh, show or whatever. But it's also for teens and for people that want to watch it. And it's going to be on C-Dub. Now, I heard this would be great if they had two wrestling shows on the same cha- on the same network. Because I heard that NWA Power was supposed to be going to C Dub, but I don't know what happened. I don't know if that's if that's still in the mix or if it's not. Because they said they had showed something about cocaine or something on on NWA Power and that probably through the producers and the representatives of the organization say they don't want to put it on there. But that would be a good deal for NWA Power if they were to get a, a time slot on a television channel on a network. That would be great for them. Because they're right now like the fourth brand of wrestling. Um, You know, and people, you know, we're here listening to this and trying to get as good as we can with things and try to make it happen and try to always be there. And I always want to be there for somebody. I always want to be there for people. You know, I know sometimes... I come off as a hard shell, but I'm trying not trying to be that guy anymore, guys. I love listening to people. I love what I do here because this is my passion to try to do something better, to try to make some type of income out of this, some something that just benefits. Uh, and I'm going to ask while people that listen to me on the airwaves, what is it of sports that you want to know about? Everybody that listens to this, I want everybody to know this is me asking. What is it that you want me to talk about sports-wise? I don't want to talk about anything else until, you know, it gets to that time. But whatever sports, whatever, you know, special podcast you want me to talk about in sports, I can do it. All you got to do is let me know. I'll work on it. I'll work it. I'll fix it. I'll see what I can do to help. I look into my research, but my, my Rolodex probably is gonna know most of it. But and that goes for that goes for the little ones too. If the little ones wanna know something, 
All I got to do is let me know. And I'm going to yield right now and ask you all, you know, to just keep it cool. Keep the peace. God bless you. God keep you. Enjoy your rest of your money. And Monday, enjoy Monday Night Raw. Enjoy the sports, basketball, college basketball. Have a good night. Don't forget to pray to God. We all go through sun-dry times. You know, right now I'm going through one, and I just want everybody to know that keep your hand in God's hands. Everything will be all right. Peace out. Good night.